So let's go to the tail of the tape for tonight's main event. When we look at the numbers here, I think the salient ones are the age. You obey know, my commands, protect yourself at all times. Your trunks are, okay, you're good here, that's what I'm going to call it. All right, good here. All right, touch them up, good luck. Play Olympia, what else was that? The bell and round one. Broder has established a pattern in his career. Maidana continues to walk Broder down. Broder catching a lot of those punches. Yeah. There's Good a lead left hook. Go defense to offense. You rarely see Broder. You need to counter punch Maidana's brutal offense here. He can't just have him missing. You need to. He needs to be active. He has the speed to be active if he chooses to use it. And if he stays confident in doing that, he's going to have to get active. Oh, wow. 11 of his 22 KOs in the first of two rounds. And there's the right hand lead by Maidana that sticks. Another oh. right hand, Broder. I don't know what that count was, but it was a long count, that's for sure. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's, they got to stop, they might have to look at stopping this. Broder has never been down in his career. A couple of left hooks to the body by Maidana. A couple of right uppercuts. The last one just grazing the chin. And it's all Marco Foot. Measuring up, good defense, and there's some of the speed displayed by Adrian Broner. Maidana may have been stunned with that punch. Right hand to the body by Broner. Well, he's setting up all the power. Yeah, he's the old Maidana, but he's still landing power punches. Misses the couple of right uppercuts as Broner content to stay on the ropes. And, and now good, Broner good comes back with a one-two. Right uppercut by Maidana, the right foot. Maidana digs away to the body with the left hand. Broner, content to stay on the ropes. Again, Maidana's got to cut the ring off here. So used to seeing all those wide shots that the straight one's yes. surprising. Yep. Again, defense is partially anticipation. It's hard to anticipate straight shots coming from Maidana. Left hook upstairs by Maidana. Left hook by Broner. Straight right hand by Broner. Single Maidana. shoot. Punch shot, Maidana. There's a lead left hook that connects by Broder. Broder in close. Working away on the body. Oh. Broder tagging the left upstairs. The, the, knock, the knockdown early in the, the fight helped him. There's Broder a straight right hand. Another one that seemed to back up Maidana. Oh. And a left hand by Maidana. Will he come out throwing it with conviction? <laughs> and he swarms Broder along the ropes. Keep focus here. Left hook by Maidana. Pick up it up, pick it up just a little bit if he's gonna be effective here. There's a slow pace, favors Broner. Here he is picking it up now. Here's where Broner has a problem though. He throws so few punches. Because they're coming from awkward ways, in awkward ways and from awkward angles. Yeah, that's really true. And the right hands are so wise. He's just land by Broner. Four more punches, uh, 47 to 36, but Broner's been fairly accurate with his. Good counter right hand by Maidana. And again, you're putting Maidana in a position he's not used to being in. Now Broner beginning to find a rhythm with his combination. Maidana, though, continues to come forward. Trying to walk Maidana down. You can put him on the back foot. You get clipped. I don't think my, I don't, maybe Broner's not so apt to. Working the body again is Mike Donna going over top of the right hand, followed by the left yeah, hand. Once again, but at least he's showing he's, he's got his man's back. And they are exchanging leather in the center of the ring. I'll tell you, Broner's knees buckled, but he still came forward. And the body shots by Mike. Forty-five seconds left in the fourth, and there's a chopping right cross by Maidana. Maidana continues to invest into the body shots, putting the work in as he gets... Oh, oh, good hook. So here at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas, and some panic in the corner, and it was Broner who told everyone, hey, chill out. <laughs> Hitting Broder on the shoulders and the arms and sneaks in a body shot. There's a left hook by Maidana. Oh, another four-punch combination. Oh. 
And I'm not saying that they're all landing, but he's much busier. Well, he just landed three punches there. The double left hook followed by the right cross by Broder. And by Dona getting up here in this round. Left hook and left uppercut just grazes, but he connects with the right hand. And Broder now beginning to tee off a little bit of Maidana, but Maidana here in the final seconds. Take a point away soon for that. Oh, left hook behind him. Maidana staggers Broder again. Final minute of the fifth round. Broder catches Maidana with the right, and there's another quick combination. Which you know, he, you're gonna you're gonna deduct points. He's gotta go both ways. Nice combination by Maidana. Lead left hook, then going downstairs. Broder dropping low, pushing Maidana away. That he seen. Forget so, about surviving. He, if Broder gets by this, we're gonna see what kind of character he oh, has. Oh, and the Let's left see. and right by Maidana. The power already taking its toll. Maidana throwing all kinds of punches at Broder's body in the crowd here in Fuego in San Antonio. Adrian Broder get hit with overhand rights repeatedly in his career, and we thought that would be the big weapon for Maidana, and it has been so far. And it's been exciting as Maidana again works the body. And a left hook upstairs by Maidana. Left hook by Broder, left hook to the body by Maidana. Good hook by Broder, right in between. This is a very entertaining fight. And Broder holding his breath. Fight. One of the central questions in this fight is does Broder have, there's that great jab by Maidana, does he have welterweight power? Broder trained by Mike Stafford, who's been his trainer since he was five years old. A stellar amateur career with over 300 fights. Oh. And there he eats a right cross. From Minute 45 left in the seventh. Another right hand by Maidana. But it has been a rough and tumble affair at times, and yes. You know, this, you know guys, uh, this fight reminds me of, a lot, there's a lot of comparisons with Broner with, uh, with Floyd Mayweather here, as, uh, as Broner showing some flashy combinations. He's here, he's gonna really have a problem because he may very well be behind in this fight. We would anticipate, of course, that's just not an official oh. view. Stiff jabs by Broder. 
We are headed to the judges' scorecards, putting a big exclamation point on the year 2013. All in favor of the winner and the new yeah. champion of the world, Marcos El Chino. Thanks for watching Boxing Jab. We hope you enjoyed the latest highlights from the world of boxing. If you're a fan of these boxing legends, be sure to watch our new videos to stay up to date on all the greatest matches. We'll bring you the best highlights from the biggest fights, as well as analysis and interviews with the top fighters in the sport. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.